doing? Good, how are you? Is this the uh, first opportunity you've had to look at the, the playbook today? Yeah, for the moment, I mean, it's the same. This is basically the same stuff I did in Cleveland. So I had gone back over my old Cleveland stuff. I always keep like a, a filing cabinet in my house and uh, always store that stuff. So I've been looking that over and then today to, to get back in it and meetings and stuff like that. Any, uh, any surprises in this playbook or anything? Um, no, very similar. Some of the terminology has changed. I think every year, you know, systems grow. So there's a few things that are, are, um, are different, but I think the core of, of what I used to do in Cleveland is, is still the core here. So is it built more around you, or is it? Are you Matt Ryan light here? Or? No, I think you know. Like I said, each year a system evolves. You know what I mean. But I'm talking about the core um, terminology, formations, things like that. We haven't even gotten to plays yet. So, you know, we're talking about formations, just where to get people lined up. Um, you know, I'm trying to help those guys with that, and and still kind of relearn it myself. But, um, you know, for me, like I said, the core, um, you know, the way you call the play, the way you line up, those are are very similar to what I did in Cleveland. He was added players who have played with under Kyle Shanahan at every position group, maybe the exception of the offensive line. How much does that familiarity, how much is that going to help you guys learn the offense? Yeah, I think hopefully that helps us help those guys, the new guys that have never played for Kyle before. I mean, you know, for me at the quarterback position, um, you got Hightower who played for him at the running back position, Logan Paulson who played the tight end, Pierre. Um, you know, like you said, those positions, you know, you've, we've got to be the ones to help those guys, you know, come along quickly because the fact of the matter is we practice in, in two weeks. You know what I mean? We have our mini camp before the draft, and, and we want to hit the ground running when that comes along. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I look at it as my, part of my responsibility to help those guys out. You say just terminology and, and the length of the play calls. Is it one of the more complex offenses that you've learned? Um, yeah, I mean, it's right up there. I mean, I've played in just about every system now, so um, it's comparable to others. I think it just depends on the play. You know, there's there's – play calls in every system that are going to be long. Um, you know, so I think a lot has been made over the years about his terminology and, and all those things. But it's something that, that I've done before, so I feel comfortable you know, stepping right back in, you know, day one listening to what we just listened to in meetings and, and picking it up you know, right where I left off. Right, you've dealt with him as a, as a coordinator. How did he come across as a head coach differently today? Yeah, I think you know, the thing with Kyle, you know, when you go from a coordinator to head coach, I had to deal with that too with Bill O'Brien in Houston. There's definitely, you have to take more ownership and now you're not just talking to an offense, you're talking to an entire team. And, and Kyle, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's what he's worked so hard for. It's, it's what he really was born for. I mean, learning from you know, his dad, he, he obviously saw him coach and then coaching on his way up to this. I mean, he came up here like it was nothing and was very head coach-like. I mean, I, to me, um, it was exciting for me because this was really my first time to be with him in a, in a football setting. You know, we've we've gotten to see each other over, over the past couple uh, weeks since I've signed here, but to get back in that football mode with him and, and to hear him talk football, it was really exciting. Try to do uh, on the first day of school here when you know you're coming in with the starting quarterback. Mm -hmm. What kind of tone did you, did you want to set, and what did you try to do today with your teammates? I think today is just try to meet as many people as you can. Um, you know, for me, other than really the guys that I walked in here and, and sat up here with you guys about a month ago and and met, you know, that day the free agent guys. Um, other than I think Garrett Selleck, that was really the only guy coming in here because we played in college together that I knew. So, you know, I try to go around, introduce myself. Um, you know, meet as many people as you can, try to put a name with a face. I mean, obviously there's a lot of players here that I, I know their name, and, but, you know, when I see them, they have a helmet on. So if you're getting to meet people, um, you know, try to reach out to as many people as you can and, and do that over the next couple of weeks. And then when it comes to the football aspect of it is, like I said, having knowledge of the system is to try to help those other guys, um, you know, get ready for that mini camp in two weeks. Oh, yeah. Did you yeah, from from last year. Contact as far as yeah, we you know, learned that teaching him or yeah. schooling him on what for sure. Now that we're here together and and we're going through the same meetings and stuff, and obviously me having experience in the in the system, then you know I want him to learn as fast as I can too. Brian, this feels like a totally different team. Expectations maybe closer to eight and eight this year. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's hard for me to speak on because I wasn't here last year. I think you know it's just the first day, so. Like I said, to me, the biggest thing right now is trying to remember, remember people's names and put it with their face. So I think, you know, we're going to come in here. I think Kyle set the tone right off the bat of, you know, coming in here and, and working our butts off. That's what it's going to take. You know, <clears throat> obviously everybody knows what the result was last year here. Um, it's our job to not let that happen again. So it starts day one with, you know, the workouts, the meetings, and then you just build on that day after day. All right. Thanks, guys.